I think for us, it's a hardware roadmaps. Hardware is years of planning before you actually get something. So we sit down, we, we create a product and we're like, yeah, you know, it'd be really cool if there was a speaker in the car. Great. That'll be ready for 2018. Um, and that's the kind of thing where it's just, you have to really plan way far out and you, you're very much constrained by that. I don't know, Brian, can you think of anything else? We just have a, our manufacturing plant right in the backyard, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I mean, we do have. Where, where is it being manufactured? Um, I mean, it's 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 in it's in Shenzhen. It's in Germany. There's mm -hmm. you know different parts. I think I believe. Um, I'm not I'm not too. But our, the hardware team is very close to us. Um, I mean, the, yeah, I think the, I think that, that that is correct. I think the constraint is time, really, because uh, you only have so much time to uh, to meet our just the cycle product development, I think. Uh, so if we had more time, <laughs> we could be doing a lot of different things. So you need to just buy more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think I think that's that's maybe it. I think, um, but you know, in, in practical stuff, I, I've thought, you know, I wish I wish batteries were better, you know? Uh, I know that there was a new Bluetooth 5.0 spec that's coming out, that's that's really cool. Um, so we like that, so, so um, this, this is more like, not trying to break the laws of physics kind of things, but like some of the practical stuff. Yeah. So like that, that's cool. I, I wish, I wish they, you know, maybe miniaturized fuel cells. I don't know, uh, whatever that means. So, uh, um, maybe just, uh, better speakers that could produce low frequencies in the tiny, I don't know, that kind of stuff too. So how, how, uh, how do you go about prioritizing what you, you believe is the best thing or the next best thing for the product? And, and, and do you really think speakers in the cars is, is, is an important uh, product development? Uh, yes and no, but it's just, you know, I mean, I think the, that was, I think I actually was just reflecting some of the kind of the questions, obvious questions that people raise when they look at our product. Uh -huh. No, I mean, I think really uh, uh, there is a there is a broad things that the company is trying to do, but there's also sort of like these three to five year, one to three year goals that we're trying to meet. And so there's this higher directive, like what are, what are we trying to do in the next one to three years? And that's that's been, you know, that gets scoped out by our executive team and our and our creative leads. And then we go, okay, this is what we want to do. Everyone's on board. And so everything gets prioritized by that. And so I can, you know, relatively maybe a, a concrete example. There is a concrete example, which is unfortunately, I can't share too much about, but if it's, if it's some serving some purpose about, let's say we want to build something that mows your lawn better, you know, or whatever, you know, and so like, what does that mean? You know, we want to, we want to be in every Home Depot. I'm not saying that that's what we're doing, but then we would just say, well, maybe you don't need interactive music for that, but maybe you need something else. Maybe you need like something to tell you that don't go too close to the dog because you're going to kill it. You know, I don't know, like different kinds of, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, different maybe you need a voice bot. No. Yeah, maybe it's like, <laughs> hey, uh, spot, get out of the way or you're going to die. You know, uh, I mean, so it really, ha it, there, there is a very, very specific guiding principle that we adhere to in those one to three, three to five year uh, uh, sort of planning that we do. And then, and then occasionally, uh, when I, I have the awesome opportunity to occasionally just pick our founders brains and we talk about what, what audio could do for Anki in the, in the next 10 years, you know, that's actually some of the, the things that, uh, that I've imposed. And those are really difficult. Um, because they, these are action items that we would, you know, take to the board and say, this is what we want to do. And there are thinkers out there that are, I don't know. I mean, I don't understand. I thought I thought sort of big, but these folks are are really, really amazing. And, 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 and they challenge your notion of whatever you think is possible. Uh, they call it, I think, uh, uh, wiping the table. I don't know. Is there a, is it? Are you familiar with this term? It's like uh, the technology is so great that it's going to just wipe the table or whatever. A very <laughs> interesting kind of uh, analogies to kind of challenge your notion and, uh, uh, and, and bring down your set of walls, uh, uh, creative walls that you've put for yourself. And, you know, you're constantly trying to break those down. And so, um, uh, yeah, that's an excellent question. I think that's the thing that I, I talk, I, I think about all the time. So I try to balance what is practical, you know, like that one to three, three to five, and then, and then the blue sky, you know, what if, ha what happens in 10 years, like that kind of thing. So. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com.